sun-speckled waves, foam breaking against the shore, cold water blowing across your face, the sound of the wind whipping past your open window as your engine tries to push you through the sound barrier. Welcome to Sunrise GP, where the early morning plays host to high-speed thrills, where the sun reflects off speeding chrome as you race across twisty tracks in a drive to be the Grand Prix champion. In Sunrise GP, you only have a couple of the races to beat in a somewhat laid-back arcade-style event that wants you to enjoy the high life of a champion or feeling like you're on a road trip. Developed by a small team, Sunrise GP is a stripped-back, easygoing arcade racer with stylized visuals and a great soundtrack that doesn't demand too much of you, but it does entertain across its short race time. Sunrise GP asks you to do two things, put your pedal to the metal and enjoy yourself while doing it. With its foot firmly planted in arcade racing with a low barrier to skill entry, Sunrise GP is neither a truly challenging racer nor an in-depth or feature-filled one. The game's car and racing physics really do feel at home in an arcade. There's just enough realism to make it feel like you're racing a two-ton piece of metal on wheels. It's just the right amount of arcade-like handling to ensure your main method of taking corners or using an e-brake and a slight drift. That said, each car handles differently enough for you to find a favorite beyond its top speed stat. Sunrise GP obviously can't compete with the likes of Gran Turismo or Forza Horizon, and that's not what the game is trying to do. It favors a pick-up-and-play style of design. We can sit down for a couple tracks, or maybe just one. That stripped-back design is also echoed in the game modes, of which there are only three. There's the single-player Grand Prix, a single-player challenge mode, and a quick race mode that can be played with three AI racers, or, if you can manage it and have the extra controllers, three friends on the same Switch. If you have a couple of friends for local co-op, Sunrise GP's longevity will definitely come from the quick race mode. If not, you'll likely be spending the rest of your time finishing up the Grand Prix and tackling some challenge maps. The Grand Prix mode takes you across 20 sun-kissed tracks, which range from coastal locations to frozen fjords. Ten of the tracks, however, are just variations of the first ten, that maybe with slightly different layouts or reversed. The goal of each track is to finish in the top three to unlock the next track, and each track completed will unlock a new car. There's some longevity added to the Grand Prix mode, as each track has a three-star rating based on how fast you complete it, with each star also rewarding you money to customize your cars. If you want to unlock all the customization options, you're really going to have to aim for those fastest completion times. Meanwhile, the challenge mode is comprised of 20 tracks for you to complete with a specific car, with each track also employing that same three-star rating system and unlocking credits. The cars themselves range from hatchbacks to some sports machines, but there aren't any supercars here, as the game strives to make most of the cars feel competitive and evenly balanced. While you can customize everything from rims to the spoilers and apply racing stickers, the number of parts available is limited, and so are the paint options. Where Sunrise GP did fall apart a bit was the game's AI. The AI racers have a tendency to go all kamikaze on you, often at the earliest opportunity, usually right out of the starting grid. It's not uncommon to have to avoid pile-ups within seconds of coming off the grid as they swerve all over the place, usually into you, and wreck the ever-loving hell out of each other too. Nor is it uncommon to find them swerving into you and cannonballing all over the road, while they take corners rather incompetently. It also wasn't unusual to complete a lap and find a car that had driven into a barricade, while still sitting there, its front bumper butting up against the barricade, unable to reverse back on track. On the plus side, I didn't notice any rubber banding either. Once I was ahead of the pack, unless I drove incredibly poorly, I usually stayed there. I've mentioned the visuals already, and I really like Sunrise GP's stylized cartoon racing aesthetics. The frame rate also held up well, and there's a nice sense of speed. The soundtrack is also catchy, albeit without being particularly memorable. Less successful was the visual starting line effect that actually obscures your view at the start. Wrapping up, Sunrise GP is as stripped back a racing game as you're going to get. It's a short experience and entertaining enough in the time it takes you to beat its tracks. However, its lack of content, limited longevity, all reliant on car play, along with the simple driving system, means that once you've beaten it, you're unlikely to come back. If you've got this far, please consider giving the video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel as it helps us grow.